Funding for this program made possible in part by Stroop Mueller, LLC. On this week's episode of Grilling Wyoming, we're going to spatchcock a chicken. So the first thing you do, you got everything laid out. We got these chickens. This one's got a neck on it. This is from uh, the Hooterites up in Montana. Well, we got that off. So, and uh, that just goes in the garbage. Some people can use that for like some kind of chicken broth or something. Oh, we'll put it right in here. My lovely assistant brought over a plate. So, okay, so the spatchcock, we've got to turn this bad boy upside. Oh, no, we had it right. So, we've got to turn it this way. And so let me wash my hands real quick. All right, so the spatchcock, you got to cut this whole backbone out right here. Work this over pretty good right here. Apparently, these are bone scissors. I'll disagree with that. Cutting the backbone out. So we can flatten this bad boy out. Right Chicken is still just a little frozen, but that's okay. That helps cut it. All right. So this piece right here, this can either be broth or it can be thrown away. I think we're going to throw it away tonight. Oh, my lovely assistant brought over a pan. All right, so right here, we've got the gizzard and the heart and all that stuff. And most people don't like that, but I don't know. I kind of like the old gizzard and the heart, but tonight we'll just put them right over here. All right, so we've got all this extra stuff we've got to cut out. So now let's flip this bad boy over. We're going to cut off a little bit of the skin because that's got a little fat on it. And most people don't like that much fat on their, on their chicken. And we'll add a little flavor, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. All right, so what do we got down here? Yep, all right. So now to, we got to flatten this guy out. So most people could take and cut right in here so that you can smash it, but I just take my hand and just smash it down just like that. And as you can see, these are healthy looking chickens. Look at that breast meat on that bad boy right there. That's a looking pretty good. So now what we do, is I want to stuff a couple of lemons down here underneath the skin. What that does is that uh, creates a, uh-oh, drop one on the floor, but that's okay because we've got a spare one right there. So the lemon, what it'll do is it'll help soften that meat up so it cooks good. All right, so now we've got to turn it over. And then we got to put some uh, some flavor in on it. So let me wash my hand real quick. Lovely assistant. Thank you, lovely assistant. Got a couple of gloves on, but you know sometimes you just don't. Right, 
Lovely assist. Thank you very much. All right, we can turn that off now. Thank you, baby. All right, so now we're back over here. All right, so on this one, it's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be light pro star recording. Alright, so this is a little bit of lemon pepper. Got it in the grinder here, so we're going to grind her up. And this is, we're going to lightly season this end of it because this will be up underneath that butter. And it'll be on the bottom of the pan. And it'll give flavor once everything starts running. So we're going to cook this on the pit boss. Pit boss, that's what we're calling it. So, all right, so now that one is, that side is ready. So we're gonna pick it up, and we can go ahead and just put it right in the pan and just season it right in there. Now look at that goodness right there, would you? Look at that big old fat breast on there. I'm trying to get these tucked in. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Doesn't look like that's gonna work. Let me wash my hands again. Take a lovely assistant. Alright, so now what we got going on, uh, let's get the camera over on the chicken. And look at that, looky there. That's a fine how do you do right there. I don't care who you are. Alright. Yes, please. Thank you, baby. That's my lovely assistant. Now we'll move this down here where we can play with it just a little bit. And now we're going to go back over with the camera. Right there. Alright. So now we got this. So now we've got to put some lemon pepper on this side. And remember this is going to be, we're cooking two chickens. One of these chickens is going to be, uh, have a little spice to her. And I made a, uh, barbecue sauce and it's called uh, Jeff Mueller's Chipotle Blueberry Barbecue Sauce. Oh yeah, made out of blueberries barbecue sauce, that's about it. And now my dad, then I put some Chipotle in it too. So, here we go. So we'll give it a little bit of this on here. And that's just a, that's just a Trader Joe's lemon pepper, that's all that is. Alright, so now I'll get one that a lot of people don't never even heard of. It's called Bow Monday. My grandmother used this back in the probably 60s and 70s. This is some pretty good stuff. It's just a little salt, some some uh, other stuff in it. I'm not sure exactly what. So now we're gonna put a little bit of this Bow Monday. Oh, oh yeah. it's coming out. And we, we want to be a little generous, but we don't want to be over generous. Alright, so I'm going to put that down now then. Who doesn't cook chicken without a little bit of Spanish sweet paprika? That's some smoke stuff right there. I don't know how they kept that uh, bone lid on it. So, that's a joke in case you couldn't, couldn't tell. Alright, so a little bit of that on there. Now then, the couche de gras. We've got something here from Savory Spices down in Littleton, Colorado called Lake Barkley Fried Chicken Seasoning. This stuff's the best, people. I don't know if you can see it over here on the old GoPro, but we'll show it over there too. This is the best stuff. This was served at a little barbecue place, I believe, down in Western Kentucky, down around Benton, uh, over on Lake Barkley. Those of you that are from the south will know exactly where that's at. So now we put a little bit of Lake Barkley on here. You can get some on them, on them legs and them wings. Oh boy, that smells good, people. All right, so now what we do is we're going to put this thing in the refrigerator. And this is going to sit overnight. And... Uh, that's about eight hours. I'll get up about four o'clock and I'll start the old smoker up. The, the pit boss, it's a pellet smoker. Uh, probably one of the best I've ever seen. 
course, I've only seen that one, so yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, we'll put that on in the morning. Uh, it'll sit here and uh, and uh, marinate in all these spices. It ought to be pretty good, just this one. So, all right, we'll see you in the morning. Three thirty AM the next morning.